So, I'm gonna explain how I met Elf Hutchins. Uh, I actually used to throw shows with Invincible uh, at his uh, his warehouse, and I, that's how I met Elf Hutchins. I actually, we threw a show, and I think he came through one day, and uh, he started, he rocked for us. He rocked, you know, was one of the artists on there. So, here's a little bit of difference. I know when people throw shows, a lot of times, especially artists, uh, I'm not artists, but promoters I know out here, they'll normally charge the artists and the artists will come in and they'll you know rock their set you know however long the set is for whatever amount of money they give and uh, me and events want to do something a little bit different so uh, Elf Legends came in and he had a super unique uh, style when I met him so it, it was very um, I want to say artistic you know what I'm saying he had a very just a unique different style when he's performing um, and I think that's how I kind of got the chance to know him and I did have video of him like I said normally what happens is when I do shows or when I do anything, I'll actually video the whole set or the whole, all the artists and everything. And um, originally, that's how I met him. You know, I was like, okay, he has this dope set, he has a dope, you know, style. And then a little bit down the road, like he stay. I, I don't know if he was just beginning out as far as an artist, or maybe he had just kind of gotten going. I don't know. Like I said, but that's the first time I met him. And then now, when I see him, uh, he's actually constantly always performing uh, he does a lot of movie and film work as well and even like I said his style just really stands out uh, a lot different than other artists that I've seen so I reached out to him to see if he would be open to letting us sit down with him and possibly uh, do a uh, independent series with us and he was and I thought it was super dope man. I, and he came through and he like I said just like his music and just like the style of his art uh, he gave a rarely, a very real, uh, unique perspective on his take on music, and kind of what it has, what it's missing, um, how he kind of attacks music, and I just thought that was super uh, innovative for him. Like I said, uh, when you look at uh, El Fudgens, like I said, and you listen to his music, um, it's definitely something different than what people are doing, and that's kind of what I liked about his story. Um, Normally in music, there's a lot of like copycat, a lot of same, you know, a lot of same type of, I don't want to say biting, but there's a lot of people that listen to something that is popular or particular and they'll try to copy that. And I don't get that from his music at all. Like I said, um, you get a unique style, you get a unique vision. Uh, I know he shoots a lot of his own uh, videos and has a lot of his own production and you kind of get that from him, like a real artist artist, if you can. So. Uh, we went ahead and had him come into an episode for us uh, for Independent. He told us, like I said, his uh, his motivations, the inspirations. Uh, I think he was telling me that uh, Smokey Robinson was somebody that he saw live and that made him uh, really want to embrace more of the artistry as well. Which, like I said, I, I don't know his age, or whatever. But you know, Smokey Robinson's a little bit even before my time. But I love Smokey as well. But just to know that he has that influence or when he saw uh, uh, Michael Jackson, you know, kind of do uh, his performance of his music or whatever, and how he kind of took into that and kind of liked that performance of what he does, I thought it's a really unique perspective because I think it can you can tell in his music the creativity and exactly um, like the direction he's going. Like he is, you know, not necessarily like I said what you see artists kind of doing the copycat thing. You know, he's his style is unique. His music take is unique, his delivery is very unique, and I noticed that even when, like I said, we were doing the shows with Invincible at his warehouse, um, this guy stands out over everybody else, like I said, everybody else is kind of doing the same type of music, but at the thing at the time he was calling himself the Black James Dean, and even like how he was dressing kind of gave that demeanor, um, you know, his delivery, how he was rhyming, gave that kind of demeanor, uh, and and, you know, I thought it would be a dope highlight, a dope story to tell. So we sat down with Elf Legends. Uh, he came down. He gave a great interview. Uh, definitely a, a must see, a must watch. Like I said, uh, man, my man really does his thing on that one. Uh, so sit down. I think it's episode five. He, he kills it. You know what I mean? Uh, and go check out his music. Like I said, if you want a unique take and a unique vibe or unique look on what's happening with music, uh, definitely go ahead and check him out, man. Because like I said, he's a dope storyteller, dope artist. Uh, and we want to highlight that as well. So uh, check out El Fudgeons. All right.